I always tell my senior officers that we are not running Dauphin and Company or Griffith and Company or Voice sole proprietorship. We work for the people of Barbados and these matters require the fullest ventilation. You talk about the sports soft matter. Mm. I spent um, so many hours dealing with the press every day. We had yes, but initially the, the, there was a thing. Where it was the blogs that brought it up first. No, no, that's, that is not All so. Right. That is not so. In I, every case, if I have that error, I would case, check it. No, in every case, we have a very, very vigorous and proactive media up. strategy. Uh, because Ian, if mm. I wait until until you report it, perhaps you would put your own slant on it. So it is mm. better to put the facts as mm. they are in the public domain, and that is what we have tried um, to do. In, in a follow-up, um, in a in a another aspect of this whole situation, um, will you be asking people to, to, to travel on foot because their cars may get stolen? If they go on foot, then there's their, their Adidas or their Nike may get stolen. I mean, you know, where does it end? Um, is, is this an admission of failure by the force? Well, I just suggest that. I, uh, I, I totally understand that. I, I understand, but I'm asking it in, a, in another well, way. I think you're being provocative. Mm. And um, I, I have to say that it makes, it makes no sense. You're, you make yourself an easy victim. And mm -hmm. crime is, is, is always opportunity. You can secure your care in a particular way to prevent uh, victimization. But based on what we're saying, I'm saying that you're going to put yourself at a particular risk that is not warranted at this time. Um, you need a little time using whatever mechanisms that have been given um, to us and so on. And I must tell you mm -hmm. that this is a fluid situation and if we think that we need additional powers um, and so on, we will go to the policy makers and say that. Uh, because the safety of Barbadians and our visitors is paramount. I, I, so these, these things are not taken flippantly in the force. No, no. Uh, uh, I agree that there, there's, there's a need for discretion, but at the same time, um, you have a situation where the current economic downturn mm -hmm. is, is causing certain people. I mean, I've used it. I, I'm not going to think. I've used the, the, the service. Mm -hmm. You have, say, then a middle class that uses this, the, the service. Mm -hmm. They don't have that avenue now. You May they not be tempted to do uh, uh, the, the cash for gold service? If they don't have that opportunity to get the, the, the funds that they need to deal with, if they need to buy groceries or get the bank off their back, would, would they then be turned around and tempted to try something that they had never considered before? We have to take it step by step, and um, I think that you're making a, a giant leap. Um, nobody, well, nothing that we said here so far this morning suggests that the trade is, is, is outlawed. Mm -hmm. is being regulated because an unregulated industry is not good for any of us. It's called the Precious Metals and Secondhand Metals Act 2013. This legislation, this act came into force on the 31st of January this year. And it is important to say that this is a draft. The Royal Barbados Police Force submitted a draft to the Chief Parliamentary Council for consideration. And that is standard policy in government that the requesting agency would, would give a draft to, to the draft person. And I have to thank um, Inspector Wiltshire from our Research and Development Department who did the research. Um, I have to say that we are not. Um, in virgin territory here, we looked at some of the legislation um, that is in, in place in some other jurisdictions, and that guided the draft that we submitted um, for consideration. Um, you have to take into account too that prior to this legislation, prior to this legislation coming into force, there was no suitable legislation to deal with the problem uh, with which uh, we. And I want to go through with you some some of the key provisions of, of, of the legislation. It makes provision for registration of, 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 of traders. 
and they have to submit a number of documents and they, they must be incorporated. They're going to be involved in the matter of, of trading in, in precious metals. You have to be registered as a company. You also have to apply to the magistrate in your district for a, a permit or a license um, to trade in uh, these precious metals. And these licenses have to be submitted, or copies have to be submitted to the commissioner of, of police. An application may be refused if the applicant has been convicted for handling stolen jewelry or, or secondhand metals, if he has been convicted for fraud or any other offense under the current um, legislation. And there are some transactions, there are records that the commissioner um, has, to, has to keep. Um, persons involved in the trade must maintain records of transactions for at least two years. Um, within 24 hours, they have to inform the commissioner as well of any, any transaction. And the metal, that's it. Precious metal has to be kept in the form in which it was received for at least um, 10 days. And one of the very key provisions of the legislation is that the, the precious metals cannot be exported from Barbados without inspection by the Comptroller of Customs. So the legislation makes provision for the Comptroller of Customs to inspect the metals before they are exported from Barbados. And so if you export the metals from Barbados without that inspection, you commit an offense, I believe the fine is $50,000 or 10 years in imprisonment for contravention. I think it's $50,000 for fine for contravention by, by a company. Dealing, and deal, the dealing of the traders is, is also time sensitive. They can only do their business between the hours of 7 in the morning and 6, 7 and 6 in, 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 in the evening. So the legislation constraints when they can do business between 6, 7 and 7. Another important provision of the legislation is that payment for the exchange of gold or any other property it has to be done by check, so we're taking the cash issue um, out of it, and um, I don't have to explain what is the intention of the legislation there. Um, I think that this is a very powerful uh, provision as well. And transactions must be covered by valid identification. Um, the person who is taken has to ascertain proof of, of, of ownership and transaction with minors is prohibited. Anyone under the age of 18 and not able to attend with the, the, the culprit who will attack the, the victim and the property is then taken to what they call a receiver who may be a person, who may be a trader or they may take it first to a smelter, a person who will uh, melt it down, or the trader may take it to, uh, to the smelter. And then, according to our intelligence, it's, it's then given to a courier. We have several women in particular who are then used to take it to the overseas market, which is principally um, US, New York. So that's the flow. The person is victimized, property is taken. And what that does not show is the, the exchange of either money or some other commodity, be it brand name, gear, or whatever, um, to, to the culprit. That's between the trader and, and, and the culprit. Um, but the issue then, that uh, the courier um, takes it overseas um, and, and sells it. Now, as I said, 
that has some indications for the strategy in dealing with it. Um, ideally, you should attack the problem right along the, the flow there, beginning with the culprit and so on. Um, but we feel that the greatest outcome will be derived from attacking it right there at the level of the receiver and the trader and also at the level of the courier when he arrives at he when the she arrives at the airport um, to to take it out of the export it um, out of the country. Of course we are going to come back to that because I think that this is at the nub of the strategy that has to be that is in place, that is developing and also for public education as to how we're going to deal uh, with, with, with this matter.